Looks like there's a resource reading. I need your help. Do you remember the layout of the building? You were admitted to this hospital when you were little. Ah, uh, that's what I hear, but I don't remember it at all. I guess I was too young.
Build you each hope. Do you need help? We'll be able to move forward if we use my power, Yuito.
There's a resource reading near here. What do you want to do?
Go, Yuito!
Wait, there's a resource reading near here. What do you want to do? We'll be able to move forward if we use my power, Yuito.
A resource reading near here. Go, Yui Toe! I'm using this, Sugumi! Here we go! Now die! Whoa! Nice! I need your help.
Looks like there's a resource nearby. Go, Yui Tong. Do you need help? teleportation than I am. <laughs> if so, it's thanks to you, Luca. Go, Yui Tong.
Looks like there's a resource reading. Here we go!
There's a resource reading near here. What do you want to do? It doesn't look like they're storing data anywhere. I don't even see anything resembling research equipment. I think the facility is underground, but there weren't any stairs leading down from the first floor. We'll just have to comb the area ourselves. If this is where they conducted his personality rehabilitation, Nagi's data should be here. I wonder if Nagi managed to get away. I had all of you there to rescue me, but he was alone. You're still as kind as ever. Nagi! You did come back. Of course you did. I mean, we're best friends, aren't we? Looks like Nagi received even more personality rehabilitation. Because Nagi was regaining his original personality the last time we saw him? Personality rehabilitation? You traitors against glorious new Himuka are the ones who need rehabilitation, not me! There's no need to worry, Yuito. They specifically told me you need to be alive when I bring you in! Stop it, Nagi! I don't want to fight you! Then come with me! We wouldn't have to fight then. Of course, I'll kill anyone else who gets in my way. So what's it gonna be? No I didn't know Nagi could fight this one. If we don't use SAS, we don't have a chance. Changed. There might be an opening. Don't let the personality rehabilitation control you, Nagi. You can tell it's your friend. That's why I'm doing this. I'm steering my friends the right path. <laughs> I've seen a lot of people whose personalities suddenly change like that. I should have started investigating earlier. If you did, you would have been personality rehabilitated too. Let's do our best to stop them for now. Let's regroup! Whoa. Maybe we can attack them inside the air bubble. If we use teleportation... Do you need help? There's nothing! Let's go! Come on! I must turn! Is everyone yeah. okay? Thank you. You guys good? 
Too bad for you, I'm not done yet! Yeah. <laughs> Guys! <sighs> you in tow! Yuito, I know that was scary. They're all done with the tests now. Honest. Let me see that brave face. You're okay. It's all over. Mommy! Dream? About my mom? Why would I have that now? Oh, right. This ceiling. It looks like the hospital room from when I was a kid. The smell, too. Smell. Where am I? <clears throat> huh? I can't use my powers? You can't use your powers here. Those restraints are designed to nullify your abilities. You're such a fool. All you had to do was play the patriotic hero, and you would have had the world on a platter. Who are you? Just a humble staff member of this facility. We've met a number of times when you were a child, but I'm sure you don't remember. We did? Have you forgotten about your time here in the hospital with your mother? Which means this is still somewhere inside the old OSF hospital. Where are my friends? No idea. Your friends are outside my jurisdiction. I'm in charge of duds. You mean people without powers? That's right. I was in charge of the experiments involving you and the Travers brothers. Unlike Karin and Luca, it seems like your psionic hormone levels are dropping. What? Now that I think about it, your psychokinesis was activated under some unconventional circumstances. Duds have an extremely low chance of manifesting powers in the first place. This could mean there's something special about your cerebrum. I'd like to ask you a few questions. Wait, I'm a dud? Oh, so you're missing your memories from when you were a dud too. This is going to be tricky. It seems your brain is accumulating damage as you use your power. I need to run some tests before I ask you any questions. I'm sure you've experienced episodes of sudden memory loss or having difficulty remembering your childhood. Wait! Please, explain it to me so I can understand. It's simple. You were born a dud. Then you were hospitalized here with your mother, because this was still the OSF hospital at that time. We know that duds are capable of acquiring potent powers. The country sends all duds to this hospital, where we run medical experiments on them. I'm a dud? I had no powers? In any case, it's time to go back to sleep. Damn it! I can't stay awake. Yuito! Are you alright? Major General Fubuki? How... 
The program he gave us was able to tap into the facility's surveillance camera feed. I knew it would be dangerous infiltrating this place. I made sure I would be available if something happened. Thank you very much. I'm glad you guys are all right. I'm sorry, Major General. We couldn't get Nagi's memory data. Uh, right, Nagi. What happened after that? You suddenly collapsed, and Nagi... He took you, and then used you as... as a hostage. We were afraid of hurting you, so we couldn't attack him. We were locked inside a room. There was strange equipment. I think it was for personality rehabilitation. But Major General Fubuki showed up before any of us were rehabilitated, so we're all okay. You don't have to worry about us. Sorry. You're always rescuing me. Thanks, guys. Wait. It looks like... Others are gathering. I've disconnected the alarm, but they should already know Yuito's trying to get away. We have to escape the hospital. I've already shared the way out with Wataru. I'll hold them off here. But... Don't forget, I'm a Septentrion. I can handle myself. Take this. Don't lose it, no matter what. What is it? I'll tell you when we get out of here. Now go. You'll only get in my way. Okay. I don't see any safe area near here for teleporting. We have to run. Got it. Please, be careful. I had no power. I was a dud. I'm more confused than shocked. It's too much to take in. Come on! Hey! Nagi must have attacked Yuito under orders from the new Himuka government. We should consider him as being completely under the government's control. Yeah! That was brilliant! Here we go! 
this way. Former Major General Karin? Yuito, it looks like you've finally become a traitor too. What do you mean? Did the new Himuka government brand Yuito a traitor? Yes. I doubt you'd be allowed inside Suo. <sighs> Come to Seiron. You'll all be accepted as one of them. You're asking us to help Seiron? The same people who are sticking human brains inside others? Meanwhile, new Himuka is conducting experiments to metamorphose humans all in the name of producing a strong power. And at its center is the great city Suo. They're both twisted. They're both crazy. Then what do you want to do? Run to the religious fanatics in Togetsu? They're a religious state. They'd probably be open to taking in criminals such as yourselves. But Togetsu won't necessarily be a safe place this time around. This time? Just a figure of speech. Yeah. New Himuka won't be able to get us in Togetsu. They're an independent city. It is a little shady, though. Is that why you came here, Karin? To tell us this? <laughs> it was just an afterthought. However, take this if you're going to Togetsu. I can't drink this! I won't! Whether it's human blood or brains, you need to drink it if you want to live. Either way, you'll lose all your memories and powers if you choose to do nothing. The drugs are simply giving you time, 
So you have to drink it whether you like it or not. He's up to something. But what is it? Most likely saving Pabuki. Should we be helping him? No. Come back to the hideout. Major General Fubuki wanted me to tell you not to worry about him. Besides, I can at least monitor his status from here. Come back, so we can make a plan on whether we're helping him or running to Togetsu. All right. Hey, good job, everyone. Man, this unit's so cozy. Wataru! What are you doing here? I had a meeting with Major General Fubuki. I was supposed to escape to the hideout if they found out you guys snuck into the old hospital in Lokusho. I mean, I can navigate you anywhere as long as I have a PC and sign at. Which means that Fubuki predicted Yuito would be branded a traitor. So, he told Wataru to come here, since he is Yuito Platoon's operator. If they're going to make Yuito the bad guy, it makes sense to take out the person who knows what Yuito Platoon is up to. Good thing Wataru got here when he did. Otherwise, they may have subjected him to personality rehabilitation. Yep, that's basically it. I made sure they didn't know where this hideout was before I left. This was originally a unit for the Sumeragi family. It'd be bad if Chief Kaito found out we're here. But it seems like we're fine for now. I haven't told my brother that we're using this unit, but we should be careful. We own many others, so I don't think they'd find this place right away. In any case, I can't believe my brother made me into a traitor. Yuito... It's really made it clear to me that he sided with the government. Not that I didn't already know that. Anyway, since I'll be staying here from now on, rest assured that nobody will find this hideout. More importantly, do you still have the thing Major General Fubuki gave you? I have it, right here. What is it? It's for Arahabaki, a one-time-use key code generator. Why would he give something that important to... Major General Fubuki entrusted the key code generator to you because he thought he might not come back alive. Have you heard anything from him? I've tracked him leaving the old OSF hospital. He completely disappeared from all systems after that. I hope he hasn't been captured by the government. My brother saved Fubuki. I'm sure of it. We have nothing to worry about. That reminds me. I wonder if it's true that former Major General Karin and Luca were both duds. I'll look for him on my end, too. Besides, you guys don't have the luxury of worrying about anyone. They're calling you demons and hypocrites in Suo. Our stocks are limited. If you don't make contact with Togetsu or Seiron soon, we're gonna run out of supplies. How could they do this? They were just hailing him as a hero. It's fine. They shouldn't have been calling me a hero in the first place. There's actually something I wanted to tell all of you. It seems that I was born without powers. <laughs> but you have powers. What are you saying? You know how I was being treated at the old OSF hospital as a kid? Seems like I was subjected to an experiment that caused me to acquire my power. I think the reason why my powers have been on the fritz lately is because they were artificially engineered. It probably puts a huge strain on my mind. Are you sure you're okay with telling us this? That you used to be a dud? Oh, is he sensitive about having been a dud? I mean, hiding it doesn't change the truth. And I figured you all deserve to know, considering all the trouble my unstable power caused you. It's no trouble. Really. Yeah, we're just worried about you. It's only natural for us to worry. But thank you for telling us. I've heard there are many people without powers who live their life suffering in secret. It's sad, but I do believe that is the case. And if something ever happens, you know we have your back. Thanks. All right. We should rest here a little bit and figure out what to do next. It will probably be impossible. 
impossible to recover Nagi's memory data now. I guess this means Major General Fubuki's plan will have to be put on hold. I've added new functions to version 1.1 of the Forced Break program. It's a system that teaches you simple relaxation methods when you enter rest mode. Now give it a try. I didn't come here to test this, Arashi. Why don't you quit developing this program? You came all the way here to tell me that? What a waste of time. You should have just refused when I invited you. No, I think it's important for me to tell you this. I'm all ears for your elegant speech, oh great one. It's not like that. I just don't know about forcing a break through a program. There are easier ways to help people relax. You could offer to listen to their problems or give them some advice. I see. We'll have to explore those options. Why don't you tell me about your problems then, Yuita? What? I'm taking your suggestion. You have a lot of pent-up feelings because of all this hard work you're doing, right? So, out with it. I don't know where to start. Like, my family and brother? Chief Sumeragi? That's a bit of a touchy issue. Yeah. I had no idea he was involved in something like that. He even set me up as a traitor. My dad didn't tell me anything either. I understand your confusion. Although I can understand why the Chief did what he did. Does that mean you approve of their methods? I didn't say that. I don't endorse them or forgive what they did. However, the way they're willing to sacrifice their own family if necessary is something I can see myself doing. Would you be able to do that to Major General Fubuki? You could sacrifice your own brother depending on the situation? I would, but he wouldn't be able to make the same decision. For better or worse, he's still a child. You two are similar in that way. What's that supposed to mean? Children think they can save everyone, but that's not how reality works. There will always be something that needs to be sacrificed. Grown-ups have to figure out the line to draw on what to give up. I think you hate being that kind of grown-up. <laughs> Is that so? Well, you might be right. If I stayed a kid, I might be happier thinking I could do anything. Being able to selfishly slack off whenever I want is something a grown-up gets to do. Pretty cool, right? No, grown-ups shouldn't slack off. You really are so much like him.
You're late again, but it's fine. I forgive you. Uh, thanks. So, what do you want? I have some things to say about the way you fight. The way I fight? Yeah. I've seen you fight many times, and you have a lot of wasted movement. You're no longer a cadet. If you want to call yourself an OSF soldier, don't just flounder around. On the battlefield, you need to always be reading your enemy's movements and consider your next move. Use your brain. So he calls me here to criticize me? What the hell is he thinking? Hey, are you listening? I'm spending my precious time on you here. Hang on. I don't really know what's going on. Why did you want to talk? Because you helped me before, however slightly. I'm returning the favor by giving you some advice. That was advice? It sounded a lot like you were making fun of me. What? You can leave if you don't want my advice. Thought you'd want to get stronger. He's annoying, but he has been in the OSF longer than me. If he really wants to help, I guess I'll listen. All right, I'm all ears. A wise decision. You can't win without hard work. Though I'm sure that doesn't make sense to someone who was born with a silver spoon in his mouth. He can't stop with the insults. I bet he doesn't have any friends. Back to the subject. I told you to read your enemy's movements, but it must be hard for an inexperienced rookie to do that. Instead of relying on hazy knowledge, it's better to work on reaction time and calm decision-making skills. I see. Unfortunately, you lack both right now. It's a miracle you're still alive. <coughs> was it incredibly good luck, or was it your teammates? If you don't want to die young, you need to get better. I listened to you, and all you did was insult me. You hate my guts. Any reason why? What? I go out of my way to help you, and you think that's an insult? Come on, that last bit was definitely an insult. Fine. I'll tell you if you really want to know. I haven't liked you since the first day I met you. Since I was scouted, I worked for years to get strong. I've been near death more times than I can count. How could I like someone who was born in the Sumeragi family and pampered his whole life? Who my family is doesn't matter. I'm my own person. No matter what you think of yourself, everyone else only sees the Sumeragi boy. That... that may be true, but... That's why everyone was prejudiced against me, even though I worked so hard. But if I say that, Shiden will have a field day with it. <sighs> if you don't like it, you have to become strong enough to surpass your name. But if you can't listen to advice, it'll be impossible. The fact that a volunteer soldier like you made it into Captain Seto's platoon had to have been because of your family connections. What? Another thing I hate is those dolls you guys collect. That little packin or whatever. What's cute about such a weird little thing? There are some things you just don't say. It's Baki, not packin. That's rude to Baki. What's with you anyway? You're just spewing insults now. What? You're the one who complained when I was just trying to give you advice. That wasn't advice. It was just nagging and insults. I've had enough. I'm out of here. Fine. What's with him? Did he actually think that was advice? It's like he's made of insults. Next time he calls me, I just won't show up.
you were admitted to this hospital when you were little as part of an experiment on duds? I can't believe they locked kids in a hospital to experiment on them. Must have been scary. That's unforgivable. I don't really remember it, but thanks for worrying about me. So I'm a rebel. I can't believe Suo is after me. I don't know if I should go to Togetsu or Seiron, but what Seiron is doing is unforgivable. Something to talk to Gamma about? <sighs> What's the matter, Hanabi? Why are you sighing? Did something happen? Oh, Yuito. No, it's nothing. Come on, you can tell me. We've known each other since we were kids. Yeah, you're right. Thanks. So, the other day when I was battling an other... I accidentally burned a building that was nearby, and Gemma scolded me. He said that my control of my powers was rough, and I'd eventually end up hurting those I need to protect. He doesn't mince words. He's right, though. I wasn't paying enough attention. Gemma asked me what I wanted to be as a member of the OSF, and to think hard about what I'm fighting for. The thing is, I still can't picture what I want to strive for. Right. You did mention that you never thought about what you wanted to do in the OSF. Yeah. And the things we've seen since joining, you know, the suspicious secrets and inhumane experiments, just awful things that ruined that image I had of the OSF as a kid. That's true. After finding out that the organization we're in caused a lot of suffering to so many people, I can't picture anything positive when someone asks me what I want to fight for as a member of the OSF. I understand that feeling of disappointment, finding out this isn't the organization you thought it was, but you're the one who's out there fighting. You just need to figure out what you're fighting for as an individual, not as part of the OSF. My reason for fighting... I'm not sure if I have one. I bet you'll come up with something if you think about it. I mean, if there's no reason, then why have you been fighting by my side all this time? It's because you... Uh, because she wants the D. I what? N nothing I'll try thinking about it some more. Okay, but there's no rush. I'm always here if you want to talk. Thanks. It's not like me to doubt myself like this. Feeling sad won't change anything. All right. I'm going to find a reason to fight. Yeah, that's the spirit. Thanks for cheering me up. You were always cheering me up when we were kids. So it's my turn now. You don't owe me anything. But I'm happy to hear you say that. Thanks for listening. Sure. Just let me know if there's anything I can do for you. Don't worry. I will. This might not come out right, but it's more fun living in the unit than I thought. It's a little inconvenient, though. Yeah, but everyone in our platoon is nice, and I'm always with you. I hope we can keep fighting together. Being with you makes me feel... safe. childhood friends.
Hey, I'm grateful. Gemma, have you gotten a little bigger? Hmm, have I? My training has been going well lately. Wow, did you have a change of heart or something? It's a little embarrassing, but I don't want you to get better than me. You can laugh at me for being a silly old man. Hey, Gamma, are you free right now? Do you want to go somewhere with me again? <sighs> Gamma? Hmm. Sorry, I was just thinking. Is something the matter? I'm here if you need to talk. Yeah, maybe I should talk to someone. One of my friends who retired from the OSF has gone missing. Are there any leads? I first learned about it when I got a message from his younger brother. We hadn't talked in a while. He asked me if I might have any ideas, but I couldn't give him any. I was just wondering what to do now. I can see why you're worried. Is there anything I can do? No, I can't trouble you with this. It's a personal problem. But I want to help. Why don't you just tell me what you can? It couldn't hurt. Hmm. Thank you. I'll take you up on that. The friend who went missing was an old classmate, and then we worked together in the same platoon when he was still in the OSF. But as the years went by, the anti-aging medication's effects weakened, and his body began to age. It's something all children of the state have to face eventually, but he reached his limit sooner than me. His powers waned as he aged, and fighting became too difficult. He retired this past spring. I see. I'm glad he managed to retire safely and not get hurt or die. Yeah, but children of the state face a tough situation after retirement. The body ages normally after they stop taking the medication, but the abuse their brains sustained over so long a time is significant. Many retired soldiers deal with various issues, stemming from their body's changes exacerbating their brain's fatigue. It's that tough for them? Can't they treat that with medication? I hear there are many who receive treatment, but it's not easily cured. If it becomes prolonged, it also affects the patient psychologically. Do you think your friend wasn't feeling well after retiring? Yeah, he was tired, physically and mentally. I tried my best to stay in touch after he left, but after a while he just kept asking me about the OSF and my missions. It seemed like he wanted to come back. He missed his old job after having trouble adjusting to retirement. I mean, he was with the OSF for decades after all. It's tough to instantly change your life. He never wanted to retire to begin with. Those who can no longer fight will never be able to return to the OSF. <sighs> I decided to distance myself from him, so he can finally move on from the military and build a new life for himself. I didn't reply to his messages or meet up with him. Looking back now, it was probably too harsh. His brother said it was cold of me to cut off all contact like that. <laughs> I can't blame his brother for saying that. It might be my fault he disappeared. Maybe I pushed him away when he needed me the most. You did it for your friend's sake. You can't blame yourself for that. For now, you should do what you can. Have you tried calling your friend? No, I haven't reached out to him yet. Then try messaging him. Even if you don't know where he is, it should reach him if he's safe. Maybe he's just waiting for you to contact him. You're right. Waiting here won't get me anywhere. I'll take your advice and do whatever I can. <sighs> There's no reply. He might need time to notice the message. Let's wait a little longer to see if it reaches him. Or it reached him, but he's not planning to reply. <sighs> There's no way for us to know. Back when we were in the OSF together, we could easily brain talk with each other and had GPS to know our location. Yeah. That's not available since he retired. He has to go through the trouble of accessing a terminal. 
I can't really relate how inconvenient things are after you retire. But he must have been going through a lot. Yeah. Why don't you keep messaging him and wait to see what happens for now? I'll see if there's anything else we could do. I'm glad for your help. I'll let you know if I learn anything. Okay. Poor Gemma. I never really thought about what people do after they retire. Is there anything more they I can die. do? I know. The OSF database could have information on Gemma's friend. <sighs> the data's locked. I guess that's not a surprise. Wataru, you got a sec? Yo, what's up? There's an OSF matter I want you to look into whenever you're free. OSF. So, information that can't be found through official channels. Okay, send me the info. I'll look into it. Thanks, Wataru. I hope we find a lead on Gemma's friend. This is very nice.
Thank you. This is for me? I guess I don't need to mention it, but you don't avoid me. I have no reason to. Do other people avoid you? Yeah, the youngsters probably feel awkward around an old man like me. I'm used to it, but it can still hurt, so I'm grateful. This is what it means to trust each other. Yeah, I trust you to have my back. Tired. I should rest a while. Do you guys have a minute? We need to talk about what we should do next. We were talking about either going to Togetsu or Seiron. Yeah, but I don't think there's much difference between Seiron and New Himuka. Especially when I think about those ampules. That's why I'm thinking about reaching out to Togetsu. Does that mean our only option is defecting to Togetsu? No, we're not just going to be running away. I have no idea what kind of place it is, after all. All I know is that it's an independent religious state, and that they may have information Suo and Seiron don't. Unlike my father and brother, I've grown up not knowing what this government... what this country is really like. Even now, there's probably more I don't know about this place than I do. That's why I want to find out. I just want to do whatever gives us the best chance to learn something new. What do you guys think? I agree. The hideout might be safe, but nothing would change if we just sat here and held our breath. Besides, Togetsu's isolation means a lower chance of being attacked by Suo or Kasane on Seiron's behalf. I... don't know what kind of place it is, but it might be worth checking out. I don't mean to make this a case of process of elimination, but I doubt we can get any more information from Suo or Seiron. Besides, as someone looking to uncover this country's secrets, I'm intrigued by Togetsu. It might also give me a chance to learn my brother's true intentions. Actually, there is something I remember about Togetsu. A while back ago, my uncle had mentioned about a deal he had made with them for work. You mean... The OSF hospital? Yeah. Even though it's an independent city, they apparently have normal business transactions. What is it that they were dealing? I think he said food and medical supplies? Although I'm not sure if it's still going on to this day. It's likely that there's more to the deal than that. If the OSF hospital is involved, it will surely be connected to power research or metamorphosis technology. Is it just me, or does Togetsu seem a little fishy? We have to accept a certain level of danger. As they say, nothing ventured, nothing gained. Yeah, I think so too. Thanks for remembering something so important, Hanabi. We'll be able to keep an eye out for that now. You're coming, right? To Togetsu? I mean... Of course! Whatever deals my uncle had with them have nothing to do with me. And if they're doing something bad, We'll just take them out. I'm not sure we should go there looking to pick a fight. Figuratively speaking. <laughs> I'm glad you'll be coming with this, Hanabi. You make people feel so... 
warm inside. What? Really? Like, I set the mood for the group? More like Togetsu is in the middle of snow-covered mountains. What? You're after my pyrokinesis. <laughs> well, Commander, I guess we know our platoon's goal now. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Let's move out. Our next destination is Togetsu. when you need some defense. Yeah, first strike! 
farther up the mountain. It acts like a natural fortress for the city. Yuzo! Looks like there's a resource reading. Can you 
been walking for a long time. Wataru, how much farther to Togetsu? Quite a while. You're not even halfway there. It really is in the middle of the mountains. Are you okay, Luca? Yes, I'll manage. These steep paths, though, they're hard for someone as small as I am. Get behind me. I can at least block the wind. Thank you. I should really start training like you do. Togetsu is the home of the Faith's main temple. Do you know what kind of religion it is? Apparently it's kind of like a cult. That's what I heard, at least. With their main temple this far from civilization, it's only normal to assume they'd be ascetics in tune with nature. Let's see. The Togetsu Faith. Ah, here we go. It's a moon-worshipping religion. One of their tenets is that the soul will return to the moon. The founder is Hitoyo Pope. The religion has a long history, but it looks like they've always lived quietly in the mountains here. You would think the fact that New Himuka allows them to govern themselves must mean that they aren't that big. I'm sure Kagero knows a lot more. He was a Togetsu believer, after all. Did he tell you anything, Sugumi? No. Kagero, he didn't talk much about the Togetsu faith. Oh. Well, they have a unique lifestyle there, but they're not totally cut off from us. I don't think they'll turn you away at the gate. That's what former Major General Karin said. We probably won't be welcomed with open arms, but I hope they'll at least listen to us. Okay, just a little farther to Togetsu.
electrified. You won't be able to move if you're electrified. Sukumi's clairvoyance. Yeah. Hey! 
I'll warm us up with my pyrokinesis. <sighs> Sorry. The sustained burn really tires me out. <sighs> That's enough of that. Yuito! Do you like my power? <laughs> yeah. It's pretty hard to control the fire.
take care of. Come 
Here the initiative. Next. I guess I'm getting better. There you are. Master Yuito has arrived. Welcome to Togetsu. Huh? Uh, hello. This isn't what I expected at all. Lady Hanabi Ichijo, we are forever in your uncle's debt. Yes, thank you. So, what does he do for you again, my uncle? He mainly provides us with food and medical supplies. And we give him resources in return. Resources. Thank you for this warm welcome. I didn't expect it on an unannounced visit. Uh, so we... You are interested in our knowledge, yes? Huh? You are a special guest. Please come with me. It seems we're being welcomed in. Though I don't know why. You could say it's a stroke of luck, but that's a little too convenient. 
It looks like they know we're here for information. It seemed like they knew about Yuito and me too. I don't see anything or anyone strange around us, but there are many things I can't see. It honestly doesn't feel right to me, but we won't know anything unless we keep going. Let's follow those people. Sugumi, let us know the moment you notice anything. You too, Wataru. Got it. Copy that. Be careful. Look at all of them. It's amazing. Are these real books? If I could, I would like to read them all. Um, what is this place? Please speak to history. I'm sure you'll find what you're looking for. Speak? Who are we supposed to speak to? Besides us, there's no one else in this room. Huh. Oh, maybe he means we should read the book on that desk. <laughs> what, what is, is it, it that, that you seek? seek? Kyoka? What's going on? Why is there an image of Kyoka? Name, Kyoka. One relevant result. I will provide information about Kyoka Eden. Kyoka Eden is one of the design children created in Togetsu. Design what? What does this thing mean, created? Design children. I've heard that phrase before. If I'm not mistaken, they're people that were designed with specific genes for desired outer appearance and physical ability. I looked into it, too. It's basically what Luca said, but it says it's just a theory and impossible to implement. Yes, it's kind of hard to believe. How could a mere religious group have such advanced technology? And how could Kyoka be one of them? I've never heard that she was involved with Togetsu, but this vision really does look like her. This form is not Kyoka Eden. It is Dr. Hitoyo Pope, the expert in neuroscience and power research, and founder of the Togetsu faith. What? So you're saying Kyoka and Dr. Pope have the same face? Yes, Kyoka Eden was created based on Dr. Pope. Dr. Pope made Kyoka? No, Dr. Pope passed away nearly 2,000 years ago and is no longer with us. 2,000 years ago? The Togetsu faith is that old? And that's the same time that New Himuka was founded. Oh, I see. So, does that mean there's information here on New Himuka from that period? Huh? The moon watches over you. It's gone. It felt like we were having a conversation with it. But I think this is just the database searching terminal with voice controls. And from the looks of it, this terminal doesn't have permission to answer Yuito's last question. So can we just try to sit somewhere else? It doesn't seem too dangerous. Whether or not the information is accurate is another matter. Right. Okay, let's try another terminal. Let me try sitting this time. What is it that you seek? Where should I start? Let's see. What was New Himuka like when the country was first founded? 
New Himuka. I will provide information on the country's history. New Himuka was founded 2,020 years ago on Earth as a nation of Ark citizens. Ark citizens? What's that? The title of the colonists that came to Earth from the moon. What? From the moon? Yes. In the beginning, mankind prospered on Earth. But let us take a look at what happened 3,000 years ago. Environmental changes caused by a shift in the Earth's orbit drastically decreased the human population for a period of time. Humans emigrated to the moon and built a city there to ensure the survival of their species. From there, they moved forward with renovating Earth's environment. What are you saying? After the Thousand Year Renovation Project, Earth's environment became mostly inhabitable again. So a group of colonists were dispatched from the moon. They were the Ark. I'm not sure I'm quite getting it. You're saying people moved from the Earth to the moon and then came back down to Earth? Wait a minute, I can't keep up. They dispatched colonists. Correct me if I'm wrong, but you mean that a group of people were selected to leave the moon? That is right. If that's true, then there are still people on the moon, right? What did you say? Huh? The moon watches over you. <sighs> oh. What do you think? I gave up trying to understand halfway through. It's so absurd that... I almost want to believe it's just a Togetsu fairy tale. There's no mention of it at all in my info network. It's probably just some religious scripture of Togetsu. If colonists founded New Himuka, then the founding father, Yakumo Sumeragi, came from the moon. Um, hang on. Your ancestor came from the moon? If what this vision says is true, all the people on Earth are descended from colonists from the moon. If all that stuff about the moon is true, that means New Himuka is hiding this information. Is there some kind of reason they don't want anyone to know? I'm like high key afraid of the other terminals now. Well, I'm done sitting here. I feel someone watching. No one should be there, though. It appears we should remain vigilant. This door is closed. Can you see through it, Tsugumi? No, I can't. I feel like I hear something inside, but maybe it's my imagination. Let me give it a try. What is it that you seek? Continuing from before, are there still people currently living on the moon? I cannot properly answer that request. Why not? At this time, all communications with the moon are suspended. Suspended? Oh, the extinction belt. Yes. Due to the effects of the extinction belt, no information from the moon reaches Earth. Huh? But with the extinction belt there, the colonists wouldn't have been able to come down from the moon. They'd be attacked... by others. No. When the colonists made their descent from the moon, the extinction belt did not exist yet. It appeared after the colonists came to Earth? Yes, that is correct. We were taught that the extinction belt was born in the Spring of Extinction. That happened when the nation was founded. The colonists came to Earth, then the Extinction Belt appeared, and New Himuka was founded. That lines up. That being said, that isn't enough proof for us to believe it. So the others appeared with the Extinction Belt. That is incorrect. The others suddenly started appearing long after the Extinction Belt appeared. What? It wasn't at the same time? But aren't others born in the Extinction Belt? 
The moon watches over you. Now I really do feel like the moon is watching me. The others are even more mysterious now. Gemma, are you alright? Yeah, but I just can't get myself to believe all of this. How about everyone else? I can't go along with it either, but all we can do for now is accept it and try to get more information. There's one more terminal. We need to learn all we can while we're here. Do the rest of you feel something strange? Yeah, it doesn't feel right. Then I'll sit. What is it that you seek? Let me try being direct this time. What exactly are others? I cannot access the information you seek here. Access to Babe is necessary. Babe? So the terminals here can't answer. That may be true, but the vision hasn't disappeared. Also, I'm sure you've all realized by now. Isn't it weird that our random questions and the permissions of the terminals all lined up? So... You're saying Togetsu has some kind of plan here? I'm sure they do. But I don't know what it is. Hmm... The reason we came here is to gather any information we couldn't find in Suo or Seiron. Maybe they knew about that? Of course, this could all be made up. But what happens if we match everything we heard to Major General Fubuki's plans? Will we just tell everyone that we came from the moon? There's no proof. They'll laugh us out of every town. You're right. Even if it is true, it was 2,000 years ago. That's ancient history to us now. Yeah, I think so too. We need information to appeal to our current... the people's current sense of danger. I will provide information on current sense of danger. Huh? Kunad Gate. The pseudo-black hole that appeared above Kunad Highway. That is called the Kunad Gate. It's talking about that localized gravitational anomaly. There actually hasn't been much news about that. What's dangerous about it? This gravitational anomaly is continuing to expand daily, and is expected to consume Earth in the near future. What? The Earth is going to be swallowed by the Kunad Gate? The Kunad Gate is expected to expand in response to the power of Yuito Sumeragi. <gasps> it is likely that the destruction of Earth is unavoidable. Why is it mentioning Yuito? The destruction of Earth? And you're saying it's Yuito's fault? That's ridiculous. But there is nothing to fear. All will be saved if you trust in the teachings of Togetsu. Hang on. What about my power? What does the Kunad Gate have to do with me? The Kunad Gate is a trivial problem. The correction of the incorrect universe is essential to create the true future. Souls return to Mother Moon. The moon watches over you. Hey! Don't let what it said bother you. It was probably just trying to scare us. The Kunad Gate. I did indeed hear that hole is pulling in things around it. So, 
It's saying the hole will get bigger and swallow the Earth? No, it's dangerous to take that at face value. Yuito, I know hearing your own name shocked you, but this might be a trap. We can't let ourselves be misled. Yeah, it doesn't feel true. But if what they're saying is true, could that be the reason why Kasane tried to kill me? Are you okay? Yeah. Sorry, I'm fine. There isn't any proof, but it might be best for me to talk to Kasane, just to make sure. But if I find out that it is indeed true, and the Kunat Gate is linked to my power in some way, what am I gonna do? Okay, we're done checking the terminals, but I wonder what this babe, the last terminal, mentioned is. Yeah, I wonder what it meant by that. I see you seek information on Babe. Uh, you scared me! You feel more comfortable with someone you're familiar with? That's fine with me. Please proceed through the door in front of you. Babe awaits. Sorry, but what is Babe? The city computer managing Togetsu. Similar to Arahabaki and Suo. They have something like that? This way, please. This is suspicious, no matter how you look at it. Outsiders would in no way be allowed access to a system on the level of Arahabaki. And you gotta wonder, why would such a small religious group need a computer like that too? Leaving now is not an option for us. Let's just see what this babe terminal thing is. There's a huge room on the other side of that door. I can see something. It appears to be a terminal. Be careful. Our communications might get cut off. Copy. We'll get out right away if things look bad. It must be Babe. We don't know what might happen. Let's stay on our toes.
Is this the Babe Terminal? Yes. This way, Master Yuito. Babe will answer all of your questions. I'm sure you are having difficulty believing all you learned here today. That doubt will turn to belief if you speak with Babe. Please trust in the teachings. The moon is always watching over you. Wataru, do you copy? <sighs> no good. This room is cut off from Cynet. Let's get the information we need and get out quickly. We're too vulnerable here. Yeah. Let's start up the terminal for now. Be careful. Oh, I guess there's no vision of Dr. Pope this time. How do we get information out of this? This feels like an SAS. What is... I can't... My body... Stop! What you're doing is too dangerous. Cut the connection now! Can you hear me, Yuito? Kasane? The connection... Babe is trying to take over my brain? Yuito? <laughs> Yuito! Are you okay? What just happened? It seems like they were trying to hijack my brain. Thanks for disconnecting me. We have to stop. That believer was acting strange. They might have been after Yuito's brain from the very beginning. Luckily enough, Yuito's all right. Let's give up on the info and get the hell out of here. Yeah. But I wonder if they'll just let us leave. Yuito, I forced myself in because I was nearby. Kasane! Yuito gets her too? Uh, wait, before that, thanks for saving me. Instead of thanking me, why don't you help me? Arashi and the others have been captured. They have? They're being held in some room, but I don't know which one. Are you in Babe's terminal? I want you to try to unlock all the doors in Togetsu from there. Okay, I'll try. What are they doing in Togetsu? No, I don't have time to think about that now. Babe is the computer that controls all of Togetsu, right? Maybe it can unlock all of the doors. Why do you ask all of a sudden? Kasane forced a brain talk connection with me. She said Arashi and the others are locked in a room somewhere. What? Kasane's in Togetsu? Is she after you again? No, I only realized I was in danger because she warned me. She wouldn't have helped me if she was planning to kill me. All right. It's unlikely that Kasane or her platoon are working with Togetsu. So something must have happened to them. Luka? We can't let Yuito be taken over. Don't worry. It looks like I can operate it normally. Helping Kasane platoon is all well and good. But we have to make a plan to get ourselves out of here. All right. If I just unlock this... That's to be expected, but this should let them escape as well. Thanks, Luca. Everyone, let's get out of here. We have to escape to get to. Stay 
on your toes. Did she come with Kyoka? No, wait, this is... Hey, quit messing around. Your way out's getting closed off. I'm breaking through! What was it that just attacked us? They look just like Kasane and Kyoka. Design children. So it's not just Kyoka. Kasane is one of Togetsu's design children, too? Can you think of another reason they'd have the same face? Enemies approaching at four o'clock. Reinforcements, maybe. There's no time to talk. Just focus on getting out of there. dangerous to remain in Togetsu any longer. We must get away. us all look like Kasane and Kyoka. Does that mean that all the Togetsu followers are design children?
Your mobility declines when you're wet. Water attack? Getting wet limits your mobility, so be careful. Doesn't look like anyone's following us. Maybe they gave up. Looks like it, but stay on your guard. I wonder if Kasane's team got out all right. Whoa, other reading closing in. It's a big one. Dead ahead. <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> Not now. No. There's no way I can drink that. I'm fine. I can fight. Damage to outer shell confirmed. Keep going and bring it. That ice is like armor, but my power might be able to melt Take 
Thanks, Sonobi. safe. How's your head? Don't strain yourself. I'm better now. Sorry I made you worry. Yuito, can you and your platoon hear me? 
Kasane! Oh, I'm glad you're okay. Are you near us? Yes, but we're closer to Togetsu than you, and we're still running. Let me make a suggestion. You learned something in there, right? Why don't we exchange intel? And we have a lot to talk about. And here I was thinking she wouldn't want to talk. Okay. I was thinking the same thing. Good. That settles it. We'll be waiting halfway up Hiano Mountain. Roger that. See you then. Sorry. I should have checked with you guys first. You're the one Kasane is after. If that's what you want to do, I don't mind. But can you trust her? I told you that she saved me in Togetsu. I think she had a reason for trying to kill me. So I want to talk to her. What are you gonna do if she doesn't want to talk and just attacks you? Then I'll fight. Okay, if you say so, Commander. Let's get down the mountain for now. If I'm right about how she sounded, we should be able to talk. I'm a little worried about meeting up with Kasane. I mean, I hope we can talk to her, but... I'm not just going along blindly, but it was your decision. I want to respect that. Yeah. They're here. It's all of Kasane platoon. Kasane! Looks like all of you made it out okay. I was able to rescue them thanks to your help. I should be thanking you. I would have been taken over by Babe if you hadn't been there. Hey, Kasane. You're not going to try and kill Yuito again, are you? I already told you. She was the one that saved me. I know. But I want to hear her say it. You have all the right in the world to doubt me. In fact, I don't blame you for it either. Yes, I think it's best to talk for now. We should talk and find a better solution, rather than just forging ahead on assumptions. It took me too long to come to this decision, and I apologize for that. Something's different about you. Can you tell me what happened? Why did you try to kill me? I know this will sound ridiculous, but please hear me out. I tried to kill you because I was asked to. By you. Fifty years in the future. Me? Fifty years in the future? What are you talking about? I completely understand how you feel. If I hadn't seen it with my own eyes, there's no way I would have believed it either. Do you remember when Captain Seto died on the Kunod Highway, and we saw that strange sight? My time travel power, the red strings, activated. Then we jumped 50 years into the future. What? You went to the future? Red strings? That's right. You said you have dreams about those. It wasn't a dream. I have the ability to travel through time. A power called red strings. And Yuito, apparently you have the same power as well. What? I know we both use psychokinesis, but that's not what you're saying. It seems you understand these red strings a lot better than the rest of us. Just where did you get that knowledge? Was that from the future too? Yes, it was. We saw Yuito in the future. He told me quite a lot. He also asked you to kill me. Right. I'll tell you everything I learned in the future. That should answer everyone's questions. Who should I ask first? The thing that appears when the red strings are used is like a device to time travel. 
That's apparently what the Kunad Gate is. Normally, it appears only for an instant and disappears immediately, but this time it didn't go away. Left open like that, the gate will eventually swallow the world. It was really bad 50 years in the future. In that world, the Kunad Gate was much bigger than it currently is here in our time. The end of the world. That's what it looked like. It seems that in that future, the gate had expanded so much that nothing could be done to stop it. At first, none of us could believe what we had heard in the future. It was just too hard to swallow. We got some news in Ceyron, then a bunch of stuff happened, and now we can pretty much believe it. But I have to admit, it's gotta be hard to believe just hearing it for the first time. It was when Kasane used the red strings that the Kunad Gate opened. But when her power activated, it resonated with yours, Yuito. That's why the gate won't close. On top of that, the gate seems to be slowly expanding. And looking at the news we got from Ceyron, it more or less matches up. The power we both have is actually Gravikinesis. It just looks like Psychokinesis. When that gravikinesis becomes strong enough to travel through space and time, it's called red strings. I had no idea about that either. The Kunad Gate will disappear if Yuito dies. That's what future Yuito said. That just can't be true. It was already too late in the future, which is why he asked me that favor. He wanted me to kill you in the past, so the Kunad Gate could be eliminated before it got too large. So my power affected the Kunad Gate. I've had a bad feeling since listening to that vision in Togetsu. I can't believe I was right. So you knew? Yeah. I didn't want to believe it, but it's true. So... the me in the future... <sighs> I guess I just wasn't able to end it myself. <sighs> How lame. That's not true. The you in that time was great. And you right now is special too. <laughs> I have to admit, I never thought you'd be complimenting me. <laughs> Thanks. That makes me feel a little better. I'm proud I have the same power as you. That reminds me. How is your brain doing? Has it settled down at all? Yeah, it's fine. I'm getting by. I told you not to worry. All right, we should exchange intel. Then first and foremost, we got some questions. Especially about Kyoka. Yes, of course you would. Kyoka, are you one of the design children from Togetsu? Yes, I'm a clone made in Togetsu. My genes come from the founder of the Togetsu faith, Dr. Hitoyo Pope. The city is filled with chosen psionics, designed from the same genetic data as me. We are the children of Togetsu. I see. I guess that's why Kyoka and Dr. Pope look the same. We were shocked when we saw Dr. Pope's vision in the Togetsu facility. I hate to ask this, but if she was one of the Togetsu followers... Yes, Kyoka was a spy. She was spying on Kasane. But that's not the case anymore. She decided to live as one of us. I vouch for Kyoka. She's definitely not our enemy. Yeah, I believe you. What? That was fast. The way Kasane looks at Kyoka is proof enough. Though, that's kind of an embarrassing way to put it. Honestly, I don't know much about Kyoka, so I can't really make this decision myself. But I do know Kasane. I wanted to talk to her to decide what to do. And I thought it was best to trust her. If I trust Kasane, then I trust the people she does. Shiden, there's no need to get so riled up. You know very well this is the kind of person Yuito is. Yeah, I just remembered how stupid he is. Hey, Kasane. If Kyoka is one of the design children, does that mean you are too? Hmm. What? What are you talking about? 
In Togetsu, we saw design children with the same face as Kasane's. Yes, I probably am. That's a weird way to say it. This is the first I've heard of this. Care to extrapolate? I remembered a little from when I was a child in Togetsu. I remembered Mother. From what I recall, I was told I was one of the design children. It only just came back to me, so it doesn't feel real. That's why I said it like that. Oh, I see. I I'm sorry. It must be a painful memory for you. You look so sad. I I'm sorry, I shouldn't have asked. You're very kind, Hanabi. But of course you should have asked. Don't worry about it. And thank you. You're so nice to her, Kasane. Really? I wasn't trying to be. Anyway, is there anything else you wanted to ask about? Yeah, there is. If you know anything about humans coming from the moon, I'm hoping you can tell me more about it. Huh? D did you hit your head or something? Oh, so you guys don't know about this? Wait, what he said is true? I yes All right. I guess we should explain what we've been told. We learned all of this after looking through Togetsu's archive, so I honestly don't know if we should really believe all of it. But if you were a Togetsu spy, Kyoka, you would know if this is true or not. Yes, that's indeed what we were taught. But if that was also part of the conspiracy, then... Actually, no. It's true. It's all for real. What do you mean, Kagura? Sugumi, don't look at me like that. I can't stand it when you look at me like that. Kagura, there's a lot I want to ask you. But for now, tell us about history as Togetsu sees it. Do all Togetsu believers know this? Right, about that. The faith. That's all a lie. Just a way to get Togetsu independence. Besides, the place is mostly made up of design children. I must say, it didn't look like a religious establishment to me. So does that mean that you are one of the design children as well, Kagero? Now, now, I said mostly, didn't I? I'm a colonist from the moon. Get real! Even if there actually were colonists from the moon, that would have been 2,000 years ago. Cold sleep? Yes, exactly. A few dozen colonists are being kept in cold sleep in a Togetsu facility. They wake us up in turns to check on the state of the Earth, and then we're supposed to contact the moon. Uh, hold on. Does that mean you're from the same generation as Yakumo? Look, I don't expect you to believe me right away or anything. But it's the truth. The people of New Himuka wanted to live on Earth, so those that wanted to return to the moon made Togetsu. Togetsu doesn't care about New Himuka or Seiron. They're an egotistical lot that wants to return to the moon instead of living on this crappy, other-filled planet. But as long as the extinction belt is there, they can't go back. Not only that, there's news that others are attacking the moon too. So they got to thinking. What can they do to save their homeland and escape Earth? They need to make it so the colonization never even happened in the first place. The red strings. The time travel power. I see. They want to go back in time and negate it all from ever happening. But wouldn't humanity eventually attempt to colonize Earth again and repeat this history? To be precise, the plan is to only take the Moon and Earth back in time, with a few exceptions. Is that even possible? Taking only a portion of the universe back in time? They believe the Red Strings can do it. They plan to leave records of this timeline's history in the areas that were not taken back in time, so future generations won't attempt to colonize Earth again. Hang on. I'm getting confused. That's so outrageous. I don't know how to take it all in. Whether you want to believe it or not, Togetsu actually managed to create the red strings to carry out their plan. Kasane is the result of that. Although, it's pretty strange how Yuito has a similar power. Let's suppose everything he said is true. That means this isn't really the time to be squabbling over Nuhimuka or Seiron. 
If Togetsu were to get what they're after, then none of us would have ever existed. No, that's not right. We can't let them succeed. We're all here, trying to survive. Kagero, why would someone at the center of Togetsu's plan reveal all this to us? Can we assume that you are planning to abandon them as well? Ruining their plan is something I've been working towards since the beginning. That's why I joined them, to get in the way. That sounds great and all, but how are we supposed to believe you? You don't have to. If you've got a problem with me, I'll walk. But whatever happens, I'm not going to sit back and let them get away with erasing this history. I left my family on the moon. I won't let them take her existence, too. Kagero means it. I can tell. It's been a long time since I've seen him like this. So please, trust him. Sugumi? Sugumi knows Kagero best. I think we can trust her judgment. Besides, I have a feeling you trust him already. Yeah. If Sugumi trusts him, then I trust him too. And if Yuito does, then I do too. Of course, I'll kill him if he betrays us. <laughs> of course. I keep making fun of them for being naive, but that's what ends up saving me. If we're going to believe Kagero, then we have to believe all of the history about the colonists from the moon too. And then figure out what we can do knowing that. We're stopping Togetsu's plan. That's all we can do, but it's too much for us to handle alone. We need someone who can move nations. Are you going to ask Nuhimuka for help? We're fugitives there. Even so, we have to. That doesn't mean I forgive them for the things they're doing, though. If they know what Togetsu is trying to do, they might realize their terrible actions are all in vain. What if we asked Seiron for help? If they know about the Togetsu threat, they might realize that Nuhimuka isn't who they should be fighting. I wonder. As far as I know, both Nuhimuka and Seiron should have a clear understanding about the Moon colonists and their history. On top of that, they're both scheming to survive. At least it's better than nothing. I don't want to just sit here and wait to be erased. Indeed. So, we should split up and give it a shot? Yes, let's do that. Yuito, you go to Nuhimuka. And you go try explaining things to Seiron. Now we're finally after the same thing. Let's do our best. whenever I'm needed. You need some defense.
I didn't think we'd find out so much in Togetsu. This is all so unexpected. All we did was go to Togetsu, but it felt like such a long journey. Good work, everyone. That was a lot to take in. It's a bit difficult to accept it all. <sighs> but I'm glad we know now. The world we normally see is so small, but our horizons have expanded. And now it's clear that there's another world out there. I'm glad we're on better terms with Kasane, too. That's one less thing to worry about. Hey, everyone. About the Kunad Gate. How your power is affecting it? Oh, Haruka let me see Seiron's investigation into it, but the results were the same. At least we know it really is, well, getting bigger. What if Yuito doesn't use his power? If he avoids combat, for instance. No, I looked at the Kunad Gate investigation papers as well. At this point, I couldn't really find a link between Yuito's specific actions and the Gate's expansion. What? So it doesn't have anything to do with Yuito? No. You could say that just the existence of his power is affecting it. It's pretty much safe to assume that the gate will continue to expand as long as Yuito lives. Right. I am sorry for how that sounded. But it's probably best that you know since it does concern you. No, I'm glad you told me. Nothing will change if I try to ignore it. If it's like you say, then I don't need to worry about staying out of fights, do I? We do not know all the details about the Kunat Gate. But I think that is correct. What are you thinking, Yuito? I want to ask you all a favor. What is it? After hearing all that in Togetsu, I'd be lying if I said I didn't think that killing me was the only option for us now. But there are still things I need to do. Things I need to learn. We can never say for certain that there is no other way unless we search for one. Just like we didn't know about the moon until we went to Togetsu, there might be a way to stop the gate that we don't know about yet. I'm sure Kasane had the same idea, and that's why she stopped trying to kill me. So... I want you to help me think of a way to get rid of the Kunad Gate. <laughs> you had me a little anxious for a moment. Of course we'll help you. Gemma's right. That was the plan all along. Don't forget about my info network. I'll find out even the most secret information. This isn't just your problem. No matter what's going on with the world, you have to remember we're a team. There has to be a way. And I know we'll find it if we look together. We have to save both you and the whole world. 
You guys. I thought you'd say that, but I guess I was a little worried. So, thank you. Humans came from the moon, and the Earth is going extinct. It's so much at once that my head is spinning. We have to understand it all, though, so we can keep moving forward. Hey, there you are, Yuito. Have you come to request a lesson from the Master of Fun? No. You said you'd be expecting me, so I felt bad ignoring you. So you say, but you know you're ready to learn. There's no need to be embarrassed. Now, let's go to town. Ugh. Really? Don't look so down from the start. If you want to have fun, you have to enjoy it. I showed up like you told me to. I just don't feel comfortable having fun when we have so many other matters to take care of. Listen up. This isn't just hanging out. This is a well-prepared, essential lesson to save you from imminent disaster. Disaster? There's a limit to how long you can live being that stiff. The more serious you are, the bigger the damage when it all comes crashing down. So I'm not telling you to totally change, but some coaching on how to loosen up a little will definitely do you some good. Hmm. All right, you win. And I guess I do need a break. Okay, it's decided then. I'll show you all the best places in Seiron to have fun. Huh? Hey, wait a second! All right, next up, karaoke. What, don't tell me you're tired already. Ugh, I'm totally beat. You said all the best places, but I didn't actually think you dragged me all over town. Oh, jeez. Let's sit down over there, then. Thank God. <sighs> you really are used to this. You enjoy life, huh? That's because it's a waste to not enjoy it. Maybe you're right. Maybe I should learn how to be carefree like you. Well, it's not exactly being carefree. And to be completely honest with you, life isn't really all it's cracked up to be. So? I enjoy life by escaping reality. I guess you could say it's a diversion to make me forget. When you say it like that, it kind of makes it sound like today was a waste of time. Sorry about that, but wasn't it a nice break? I do feel a little loosened up. Which means you need to escape reality sometimes. Especially someone like you who has to deal with a lot of problems. What problems are you dealing with then? It's obvious you're trying to escape from something, too. I don't have any problems. I'm just the easygoing guy you know and love. I really doubt that. Immigrating from the moon and living for 2,000 years here on Earth has got to be a roller coaster of a life. I'm sure you have a lot of memories, both good and bad. You must have a lot of stuff on your mind. All right, all right, enough about me already. We're here to relieve your stress today. Come on, next place. 
okay. He dodged the question. It's probably safe to assume that something really is bothering him. I can't even begin to imagine what kind of life he's lived. And I can't help but wonder what his true feelings are.
Yuito, do you have a moment? Yeah, what is it? That white flower. The silent snow melt. Something about it has me curious. Did you find something out? I'm not positive yet, but remember when we climbed Hiano Mountain? Yeah, it was cold there. Walking through the snow was tough too. That mountain is the perfect place for the silent snow melt to grow. You did say something about that flower blooming on cold mountains, didn't you? Yeah, so I'm going to go. You're going to go where? To Hiano Mountain. What? You're going to Hiano Mountain by yourself to look for that flower? I won't just look for it. I'll bring it back. I will show you that flower. No, that's way too dangerous. It's a steep mountain and there are others there. I can't let you do it. It's fine. I can fight. I've been fighting longer than you. That's true, but going alone is a bit... <sighs> Are you absolutely set on going? Yes. Even if you try to stop me. You're kind of... <sighs> no, you're really stubborn. Alright, I'm going with you. What? But... It's no use. I'm going, even if you try to stop me. <laughs> okay, then we'll go together. Yeah, to Hiano Mountain. probably higher up. Yeah, we might have to go to the summit. This climate isn't its natural environment. Okay, let's go to the summit then. Let's 
Let me borrow this! Tsunami! Next. That 
Wow. Looks like you were right after all. So, where is it? Close by. Wait. Oh, oh no. What? What do you see? An other is walking near the flowers. It'll crush them. Let's hurry. No. I guess we can't just shoo it away. Watch out. Here it comes. Get ready to fight. Understood. Here we go! Yeah. Yeah. My clairvoyance. Use it, Yurita. Limits your mobility, so be careful. 
should do it. Are the flowers okay? They were trampled. They're almost all crushed. If we had only found them sooner. It looks like almost half of them are still fine to me. I saw below the ground with my clairvoyance. The stems are broken and the roots are twisted. They're all hurt. No way. Not even a single one survived? Some are just weak. I think they'll recover. It will take time, though. I see. Well, at least we saved them from being completely wiped out. But... I don't know what to do. I plan to bring the flowers back with me. Will they just wilt if you bring them down from the mountain like this? With the right nutrients, they'll be fine. I've thought about how to cultivate them, so I'm pretty confident. But... The environment I'd be growing them in would be harsh for them. I'm not sure if it's the right thing to do. You're such a kind person. Would you be opposed to the idea of just leaving these flowers here? This is the best environment for them, so they'll be healthy here. But you like these flowers. Are you sure? Just the fact that I was able to see them blooming makes me happy. And you worked hard for that to happen. So? What do you think? I... If the flowers are happy... I don't want to ruin that. Okay. Let's go then. Yeah. <sighs> hey. How come you wanted to bring the flowers back with you? Huh? Oh, um... It's a rare flower. So I wanted to try to grow it myself. So a little intellectual curiosity, then? Guess you're like a botanist. When I grow a new plant, it's like I get a new friend. It makes me happy. I see. Well, now you have a long-distance friend. We should come visit the flowers again. Sure. Um, and... Hmm? Was there another reason? N no, it's nothing. Oh. Okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> There's obviously another reason. Uh, now I really want to know what it is. But it's not like I can force her to tell me. Well, I'm sure she'll tell me eventually. We should get back to the hideout and get some rest. Um, sorry to bother you, but can we talk? Yeah, sure. Did I do something? I mean, you're pretty observant. Well, you always take care of me and the others, right? You should take care of yourself, too. I'm worried you might try out. I know how you feel. I hope you know how I feel, too. Great. Don't worry. I know how you feel, even if you don't say much.
Hey, I'm grateful. This is very nice. Yuito, this is perfect. Will you accompany me to the gym? Yeah, sure. Are we lifting weights? If so, why don't we invite Gemma? I'd like to keep it the two of us today. There is something I wish to confirm with you. Uh, okay. So, what do you want to confirm? This isn't like a strength test. No, we are not here to train. I brought you here because there's no one around, making it perfect for us to talk alone. Is something wrong? Remember when we went to the old OSF hospital? Yeah, that was a rough day. Did you hear the researchers talking about my brother and me? Oh, well, uh... You're as bad at lying as ever. So you know then, that my brother and I were duds. Yeah, I didn't say anything because I thought it would bother you. I see. Uh, thank you for your concern. He won't look at me. Maybe he didn't want me to know. How did you know that I knew? After we returned to the hideout from the old OSF hospital, you told everyone that you were a dud. Your face changed when you looked at me. That made me believe that perhaps you knew. Oh. You could see it on my face. Sorry. Don't be. It was inevitable that you would find out. I am curious, though. Why did you feel it was necessary to tell everyone that you were one? Um... It's a handicap to be a dud in this world. I failed to see how that knowledge being public would help you. Well, I didn't think that any of you would treat me differently just because I said I was a dud. And everyone reacted just like I thought they would. It made me realize there's a lot of good in my life. <laughs> I don't think anyone would care if you told them. I don't agree. Luca. Unlike you, I've lived knowing the burden of being a dud. I may be a Septentrion, but my power was implanted through experiments. I wasn't born with it. It could suddenly disappear one day. And when that happens, the public will turn on me. That's the fear I've always lived with. I can't just change and become carefree like you. No matter what the public thinks, you're still Luca. You've been fighting in the OSF for so long. You work harder than anyone else and achieved a lot. That won't change no matter what people say. You are strong. Your strength lies in the fact that you can say that. But I am not like you. Or my brother. I am not strong enough to fight against the tide. Luca. This is who I am. Please, 
promise me? Please don't tell anyone that I am a dud. Okay. I promise I won't. Thank you. And that's all I wanted to talk about. I'm going back now. I am counting on you. Don't worry. I'll keep my promise. He looked worried. I know the secret he kept for so many years. Maybe me promising isn't enough. No. I just have to work to make sure he's not threatened. I'll keep my word, no matter what. Do you ever get tired of being a member of the OSF? Um... The reality is different from my ideal, but there's a lot I couldn't do if I wasn't here. And that's true. You did choose to join us of your own will. I respect you for seeing the realities of the OSF and remaining unswayed. I'd like to talk with you some more. I hope you feel the same way. Of course. You know a lot of stuff, so it's fun talking to you. <laughs> 